Let's look at some of the amazing ways artificial intelligence is now changing how health insurance works. If you think about health insurance, basically at the moment they're based on some very basic parameters. Sometimes they would do a little health check on you, but they have very little indication of what your actual lifestyle is, which is obviously one of the biggest factors of for whether you will get ill or not. So there's one company called Vitality Health, and what they're now doing is they're giving you an Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch is great because it actually knows that it is you, because it uses your biometric fingerprint to detect that it's you wearing the watch. So, and then you link this to your Vitality Health account and it can then track your activity levels. So in the past, companies struggled with this because you, they might give you a Fitbit and people put the Fitbit on their dog and the dog runs around all day long saying you've been really active, obviously you can't do this anymore. So this is now giving them a pretty accurate reading of your activity levels. The other thing they wanted to do is they wanted to understand, are you eating healthy? And they said, how can we do this? So they have, created a partnership with an online retailer here in the UK called Ocado, and they have created a healthy food list. So if you are now demonstrating that you're buying regularly healthy food and your activity levels are really high, this then reduces your insurance premium. So this is something that I am seeing more and more with lots of organizations that are now trying to find better, richer data sets to help deliver better and more targeted um, and more personalized services for, for their customers. With all of this, you, I, I guess like me, you also have some privacy concerns here. You have to think where is this all going because at the moment you get a reduction in your premium if you're demonstrating that you're healthy. The challenge is if everyone is doing it, you basically get penalized for not doing it. And there, so there are lots of ethical questions around where this might be going. But this is what I do with my clients. I help companies understand how they can use technology to deliver better services, better products, and make their processes better. So check out my YouTube channel and subscribe if you want to learn more. Lots of other case studies on there or head to my website at bernardmar.com where I talk about lots of other examples and, and how organizations can actually overcome some of these challenges that come with artificial intelligence and new technologies.